Welcome to another video where I work through and explain A-level physics multi-choice questions. If you want to try this question yourself, pause the video now. If you got the answer B, give yourself a pat on the back. If you'd like to see my explanation of how I found the answer, please continue watching. So we've got a progressive wave travels along a rope in the direction M to N. X marks a point on the rope. The wave has a frequency of 5 hertz and a wavelength of 1 meter and an amplitude of 0.2 meters. Where will X be after 0.15 seconds? Well, X is a point on the wave, and given that this is a transverse wave, X is going to move at 90 degrees to the direction of wave travel. We're told the frequency is 0.5 hertz, and from that, we could find out the time period. The time period of a wave is the time it takes for one complete cycle of the wave to occur. Rearranging that equation and putting the value for frequency of 5 Hertz in, I find that the time period is 0.2 seconds. And what that means is that this point X in 0.2 seconds will travel down to the maximum negative displacement, back up to the equilibrium point, up to the point of maximum positive displacement, and down to the equilibrium or rest point in a time of 0.2 seconds. Well, we're looking at what's going to happen in 0.15 seconds, and 0.15 seconds is three quarters of that time period. So it's going to go through three quarters of its cycle. So in a quarter of the cycle, X will move down to a point of the maximum negative displacement. After half the cycle, it'll move back to its rest point. In the next so the three quarters of its cycle, it will be at its maximum positive displacement above the line. Well, we're told the amplitude, which is the displacement, is 0.2 meters. So after 0.15 seconds, the point X will be 0.2 meters above the line MN. The answer is B. If you found this useful, please give a like and any comments below, please. And I hope you'll watch more.